I recently decided that I wanted to give my brand a little makeover, so of course, I headed to a coffee shop and began my rebrand. Oh, and I also documented my process so I could share my best tips on branding and social media with you guys. I'm obviously not a professional, but I'm going into my third year of college as a media production major, so do with that what you will. I have learned quite a bit about branding and social media and stuff in the past year-ish, so yeah. If you've never watched a video from me before, my name is Rachel. I hope that you stick around for this one and find it helpful. So the most important thing about branding that's basically like the definition of branding and like what you need to keep in mind while you're establishing your brand is that everything needs to be cohesive. Every single platform you have, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, anything, your personal website, it needs to all match. In order to do this, you need similar colors, fonts, styles, whatever it is. So to kind of figure out what direction you want to take your brand in, I recommend kind of sitting down and brainstorming what almost like the theme of your brand is. What do you want people to feel and what do you want to convey to people when they see your content? So maybe you just want to be funny and entertaining or maybe you want them to feel relaxed or inspired or happy, whatever it is you should kind of jot down those notes and just figure that out for yourself. And once you do this, that will kind of give you a direction for your brand. So my next tip is to come up with some brand colors. And the reason I gave the first one about like coming up with the emotions or feelings you wanna use is just because sometimes feelings make you think of particular colors so that might help you pick your brand colors or you just pick colors that you like, colors that go well together. I know there are tons of websites that like you can figure out good color palettes on so I'll try and find some and put them in the description below but yeah definitely figure out what colors look nice together what you like and what conveys the feelings that you want to convey once you have these colors I highly highly recommend to put them in a document somewhere I use Photoshop but if you don't have a subscription to it you could use Canva, which is completely free online, and they have tons of great templates where you can create your own. And I recommend just like putting all your colors on there and writing down the hex codes. If you don't know what that is, basically every unique color has a specific code that corresponds to it. So if you're using something like Photoshop, you can enter the code for the color rather than having to like find it every time because it's nearly impossible if you don't have the code. So definitely recommend putting all your colors on a document together and writing the hex codes beneath them so you can just copy and paste whenever you need a specific color. And then this document that you create, I, I kind of think of it as like your brand board. It's kind of like a mood board, but I kind of simplify it because mood boards can get busy. So it's basically just a document to keep all the unique stuff about your brand in one place so that you can always refer to it when you're creating new content. So then the next important thing that you do when you're creating a brand is picking out your fonts. So this is the same concept as colors. You should always be using the same fonts across all your platforms so that everything looks nice together. So similar to the colors, figure out what fonts invoke these feelings that you want to convey. I feel like fonts are a little bit harder so you can just kind of pick the ones that you like if that's easier. That's kind of what I did but I think you definitely need to pick a more decorative or bold font for headings and things that you want to, like just short snippets of text that you want to stand out to your viewers when you're creating content. And then for body paragraphs and bigger pieces of text, that would be like a much simpler font that's very legible. So kind of just pick a couple different ones that you think go well together. And again, a lot of editing platforms are very limited in the fonts that they have and they don't have a ton of cool options. So similar to like looking for a color palette online, you can also find free downloadable fonts online. There are tons of different ones. I know Adobe has a website that you can use and I've gotten several fonts from them. So I'll try and find a few of those and link those as well. And just like we did with the colors, you're going to document these fonts in the same document as the colors. So I just pick the font that I want and I type the name of it in the document in that font and do that for all the different fonts that I'm using. And then these last few things that I'm going to mention are definitely optional. I think colors and fonts are a must. Not I think, I know colors and fonts are a must, but 
these are like things that might just help you get some inspiration when you're creating your brand so you could put pictures that kind of match your vibe and inspire you uh kind of tie into the content that you want to create this is more like down the mood board lane like finding pictures online that you just like that all go together that match your vibe you can also i do really recommend this one write down the type of content that you want to produce or any content ideas that you have just like as a kind of like brain dump brainstorm type thing and then you know when you look back at this document you'll see the types of content that you like to create or that you want your brand to be known for creating so that way if you're ever like kind of stuck and you can't think of something to to create for your next piece of content you can kind of refer back to that and that might help you out basically the goal is just to create a summary of your brand in one document so that you can refer back to it whenever you need help with anything and whenever you're creating new content and the goal is just to have something that inspires you and kind of helps make your life a little bit easier when you're trying to make your brand cohesive across all your different platforms. And finally, you need to implement these colors and fonts and styles in any and every way possible. So that comes down to like each platform using these colors and fonts, but also within those platforms. So your Instagram highlight covers should use all the colors, if depending on what you want them to look like. If you're doing like a solid color for each one, with a little graphic on it or something, you should use your brand colors for those. If you are creating digital art that has more solid colors in it, you should use your brand colors. But then if you're doing like photography or something that you don't add color to, I recommend if you want your feed to look pretty cohesive or as cohesive as you can, I recommend looking for a preset online that you like for Lightroom or creating your own. Again, if you don't have Lightroom, there are tons of free editing apps to edit pictures and you can choose from their filters, but Lightroom is a lot better. It allows you to change very minute details and adjust really small things to get exactly what you're looking for. Lightroom is very overwhelming. I have yet to create a preset that I really like by myself. I found free ones online that I use because those people know way more about editing photos than I do. But Lightroom is still a really good app and it's something I'm still figuring out how to use to its fullest myself. But definitely recommend looking for some free downloadable presets to use on all your images so that when you post them all together, they all kind of look the same. And again, this also comes down to, you know, creating your YouTube banner with the same colors and your website banners with all the same colors and your thumbnails for your YouTube videos, all the same colors, just making sure that everything matches. So those are my main tips on how to create a cohesive brand. I also have a few other random tips just about like using social media in general. I highly recommend creating a posting schedule. This is something that I did like a year ago and followed for a few months and it was very helpful because I didn't have to think when I needed to post something. It was kind of like at the beginning of each month I would sit down, figure out what days I'm posting and figure out what content I'm posting on those days. So then that whole month I already have all my content planned out and I just have to post it when it comes to it. It's something I would like to get back into, but I kind of started falling behind because I got busy with school. I just kind of ran out of time to sit down each month and plan out my content for the whole month, especially because sometimes you don't have the content that you want to post yet because you haven't finished making it. So it can be a little tricky to stick with, but I definitely recommend it if you're struggling to keep up with posting or to think of ideas. It really helps to just brainstorm them all at once and have them planned for a few weeks. And one last thing I'll mention that I've heard several times in my social media and branding courses is that you should try to establish a unique brand voice that you use in all your content that you produce, whether it's a TikTok, a reel, a YouTube video, a caption, whatever it is, it should all be consistent. I feel like this one's a little bit trickier to figure out, but just, you know, if you're just being yourself, that's honestly probably going to come across pretty consistently in everything you produce, but you know, just kind of keep that in mind when you're writing captions and creating content. So those are all the tips and tricks I have about branding for this video. I hope that you were able to kind of follow along with what I was saying and watching me kind of do my little rebrand. Um, and I hope that you learned something helpful from this if you're also trying to brand your 
business or social media or whatever it may be. If you did, you could go ahead and share this video with a friend, kind of help me uh, reach some more people, and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future, and check out some of my other videos if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon.